entitled today's devotional, Let's Mingle. And it comes from the 106th Psalm, verses 34, 5, and 6. And that's a part uh, of the greater reading that I do uh, in First Chronicles 16, Psalm 106, and Matthew 19. The word that I want to focus on, <clears throat> obviously, is mingle. So uh, Psalm 106, verse 34, 5, and 6 says this. They did not destroy the peoples concerning whom the Lord had commanded them, but they mingled with the Gentiles and learned their works. They served their idols, which became a snare to them. Well, first, there was disobedience regarding the peoples that God had told the Israelites to destroy. Uh, they mingled. <laughs> That's an interesting word. They mingled with the Gentiles and learned their practices. Then finally, they served their idols, which, which ultimately ended up uh, becoming a snare to them and found them sacrificing their children in the fire to the heathen gods. The thing that most, uh, I guess, captivates me here uh, is the idea of mingling. What does it mean to mingle? I mean, I thought I, I had a pretty good idea of that, but I just went into the old dictionary and looked it up. Uh, the definition of mingle is to mix or cause to mix together. The sound of voices mingled with the scraping of chairs. Uh, it, uh, synonyms are to blend, to intermingle, to commingle, to intermix, interweave, interplay, interlace, Combine, merge, fuse, unite, join, amalgamate, meld, marry, mesh, compound, coalesce, admix, comix, interflow, interblend. Wow, what a list, but it gives us a graphic picture of what it means to mingle. All these synonyms along with, with the definition really paint for us a picture of just exactly what the Israelites did in relationship to the nations that God had commanded them to destroy. Why, why did God command them to destroy, to be destroyed? Uh, because of their idolatrous practices, because of a refusal to forsake uh, their heathen practices, their heathen gods, their idolatrous practices, and to worship the one true God. They had centuries to change their ways but they refused to do so. They had heard of all that God had done, yet they remained so hard-hearted, which resulted eventually in their death and in the death sentence. Well, we read that account and some people today think, oh, you know, God, all we see God doing is harsh things and he's a horrible, mean God and all those kind of things. How does that apply then to us today? I think the connection really is quite obvious, yet still the temptation is there for us today to do exactly the same thing, to mingle. What what can a little leaven hurt? It's not all that big a deal. The things we do aren't all that bad. And after all, it doesn't really matter what you worship as long as you worship, right? Those are some of the arguments. But the danger in mingling is that when we do, we always give up some or even most, if not all, of the things that we have been living by and most of all, we forfeit our walk and our relationship with the Lord. Mingling. We dare not mingle. We dare not mix. Come out from among them and be separate, says the Lord. Uh, we are to be separate from the world. In the world, Jesus said, but not of the world. So let's not mingle. Let's stay close to the Lord and walk with him in fellowship with him and other brothers and sisters. Amen. May the Lord bless you today. I pray as you stand for him in all that you do. Amen. Yeah.